Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. And for this video, we're gonna be unboxing my Foxy Charm May base box. And this one is gifted by Foxy Charm. So I also have another video up where I'm comparing two premium boxes variations in another video. So the video before this, so I'll leave the link up there so you guys could check that out. But yeah, this is the PR version. My paid version, I think it might come on Monday. Today's Saturday, so I think it might come on Monday. I already went ahead and opened the box, this is, oh, I already went ahead to open the box because I checked out the all my boxes today because they came today, guys. I was so excited that my paid version premium came in and then a few minutes later, uh, the FedEx delivered my PR boxes. So I was like very, very happy. I'm like, yay, I can record today. But yeah, the first item I see since this is a PR version, the Boxycharm just want me to show you guys and also thank you guys so much Boxycharm for gifting this for me. I appreciate it every single time. It started with the Ipsy. Ipsy made refreshments and now the refreshments in Boxycharm. So you can add this subscription in your Boxycharm box if you want to. So it's like a lot of like bathroom stuff like shaving cream, hand cream, shampoo, conditioner, and razor. So this is the razor kit. So let me just show you guys real quick. <laughs> the packaging of this is always like you just want to rip it <laughs> this is how it looks like i already got one of these <laughs> i actually had a different one i had the purple one but i dropped it so many times that i broke it so i had this one too um an extra one and box of charm gifted to me too so this is the second one that they're gifting this to me so since i broke my first one my purple one i went to my <laughs> to this pink one this other pink one so it's like the exact same as this one so this one's like a magnetic one so you're supposed to use this on the wall. I haven't done that yet, but I know this is magnetic, so it's supposed to be sticking. So yeah, and it comes with two razor refills. Honestly, in my opinion, the razors are really good. So yeah, and their shave cream is also good as well. And that's the only thing that I like from them. I got this from a Trendwood box. So let's show this first item right here. So this is by the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Body 12% HA BHA Resurfacing Body Serum. And it retails for $40. So this is the one I have. It looks like the color faded compared to the new one. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit faded. That one got faded. So this is mine. So I'm gonna put this new one back. I'll probably keep it, honestly. So I haven't tested it on myself, but I tested it on my husband for two days. And he said he's seen such a difference because he has a little bit of a KP or you know, those dryness like bumps. Like it's KP, right? And I tried it on him on his arm and he said it improved. So he's not very consistent when it comes to skincare or body care. So I have to do it myself if I want him to improve anything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, this stuff is really good. Like you see like major difference just within two days, like just like I said. And the smell, people have different well, I mean when I first smelled it, it smelled bad, but let me see let me remind myself about the smell. Yeah. It doesn't smell like, some people could smell the honey in it. I, I think after you rub it in, yeah, it does. I seen on another boxing that this person said that it smelled like tea, like honey tea. Like it smells, yeah, you could smell it. Like just at first impressions, you could probably smell the bitterness to it. Cause it says it has prickly pear and honey. So just imagine that. Yeah, you could smell it. Like the more you rub it in, the sweeter it smells. Yeah, but like first impressions, I thought it smelled like super bitter, but now it smells pretty good. Hmm, maybe it's the context, like the contest inside, like settling in. You Maybe you have to shake it. Yeah, because it's a little bit liquidy. So this is how it looks like. I should have just shown you the consistency, the consistency to it, but it looks like this. Let me show you guys. <laughs> I'm putting a lot on my hands. I already have some rubbed on, but look at that's how it looks like. It gives a nice glow. So this is for the body only. So I should start using this on my legs. See how it makes a big difference. Cause I heard from other people that this makes your legs look like nice and smooth. Look at that, look at that difference. My arm. I put body oil too earlier and it's already like, the shine is already gone, but yeah. I can smell the sweetness to it now. Like, oh my God. It almost smells like raisins in a way too. Hmm. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I'll test it out some more, you guys. I, I got this item from a Trend Mood box, and I was thinking of my husband to use it, but you know what? I think I'm gonna end up using it. I'm gonna test it out <laughs> and see if it makes a difference. But yeah, it's a really strong stuff. It's for the body. You don't. You're not supposed to put it on the face because that's a, like a lot of percent 
12% that's a lot usually with skincare items usually it's 5% or so but 12% you'll probably break out and get a rash or something so don't use this on the face let's go with this item because I want to open it already so this is by skin ink it's a serum glow filter and retails for $50 so it's a glow up with the world for skincare makeup serum glow filter blending beauty and technology in one bottle this clever concussion is formulated with rare cold hibiscus extract and skin ink top two selling serum niacinamide and hyaluronic acids to give you a selfie filter in real life it's perfect for day use and it's personalized to your skin tone using light reflecting technology technology that enables eternal light to bounce off your skin creating glowy paralyzed finish and reduce appearance of pores and red skin tone so let me just open this real quick oh my god this looks way pretty in person so i know they had another product before i forgot what it was exactly but i feel like we had something um similar in this from this brand because i remember wanting it i think it had like dark pink beads but it looks so pretty in person guys oh my gosh Ooh. so it comes with this little component i'm not sure if you could keep it on i think you could keep it on i think i'm gonna keep this so that's pretty neat to close it that's really neat so my hands are getting like a lot of skincare on today so let me do a little pump i like the pump like it feels very quality right here <gasps> hmm the beads let me see maybe i have to rub it in oh that's very glowy it's not like super tacky maybe just just slightly tacking it's just a very very slight tacking it but it gives a nice glow hmm. yeah the little beads it kind of got blended away like i'll be testing this out so i think there's a skincare and makeup product at the same time let me see first skincare makeup so it's a glow filter Ooh, yeah i'm gonna be testing this now maybe use it as a primer but I love how it looks. It's so cool. So I'm going to keep this plastic component in there. Hopefully I can put it back. <laughs> oh, yes. I can put it back. I'm not sure if it's magnetic. Hmm. But yeah, you can put it back. So yes, I'm actually like excited about that. So let's go with this third item, which I'm not excited about because I have one of these. And this is by Seattle London Dewy Blush. And it retails for $22. And... Let me see if I, if I even have it. I might have decluttered it. I'm gonna check right now. I feel like I have this, but I can't find it. I, I don't know if I decluttered it already because I don't like it. I don't know how it looks like, but I'm not gonna swatch it because from what I remember, it was like really sheer and like it was too sheer for my liking that I wouldn't use it as a blush. So just in case, I'm not gonna swatch this. I'd rather save it for you guys. So yeah, that's from what I remember. But let's move on to the last two products. So real quick, I got the Basic Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. And this is retails for $18. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. <laughs> this is how it looks like. Let's see the consistency to it. This is how it looks like. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a good one. But I'll test it out and see. I can't tell the smell because I have so much stuff on my hand, but it feels very silicone-y. So I'll try it out, see if it's a good one. And the last product I see right here, this is by V Cosmetic. It's a creamy liquid velvet lipstick. It retails for $22 and it's a new brand to BoxyCharm. Formulated to be creamy, lightweight, and long wearing, make a unique statement with your fashion forward vibe. I've seen one unboxing that had this. I remember. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think I'm going to keep it. And, um, it's like a pinky shade. Yeah, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a different kind of shade. It's like pinky. It's like a magenta, dusty pinky. Like, I feel like it's a little bit too Barbie for my taste. So I'd rather not keep it. So I'll save this for you guys because usually I'm always tempted to keep every other product. So my favorite products is, of course, palettes, blushes, and lip products. Those are my top three favorite products makeup items but yeah i'll save this for you guys so i'm not going to be testing out the formula a bit so i won't put it to waste but yeah that's everything i got in the pr version for a boxy charm base box and i'll leave the value right here it seems like the value is pretty high so i'd say these are the two best products i will say and everything else the last three items are a bit lackluster i feel like for the two skincare items i like them makes up for the money but that's only two items i like out of the five so i feel like 
desperation it kind of sucks you know and usually for it to be like a decent box i have to at least like three items out of the five but since there's only two i even like this box duration it sucks guys it sucks but yeah but i still appreciate box of charm for gifting this to me because i can review some of the items and have a little extra you know but anyways guys um be on the lookout for my box of charm base paid version i'm gonna have that video up probably soon because i think it's gonna come here on monday i'm not sure but i chose the opposite you guys of course there was only like you only choose between the two of the shelter london dewy blush and the item beauty concealer that's what i chose so i'm looking forward to getting my paid version because i want to test out the concealer because from the looks of it that concealer looks bomb and oh so i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing let me know down below what you guys are hoping you'll get in your box and if you guys are new to my channel i do a lot of unboxings and makeup videos so if you guys are into that kind of content then make sure to subscribe to my beauty fam because i love to have you guys here and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys